right, so let's see how well I can do this. Oh god, this is already bad. This is already bad. Oh god, this is hard to control in reverse third person. Yeah. Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode here on the Boredom server. Where? Two dead. Oh god dang it, what a hit. What a hit. Okay, we're fine now. Uh, we're today... We're gonna do a couple different things. Uh, gonna try continuing the new style that I tried with the last episode. It seemed to go over pretty well. Uh, so we're gonna see how it goes with this episode where I try it a little bit more extensively. Um, but yeah. Let's go and start off with this, shall we? I uh, decided to go ahead and add this. Just because if you don't know about this, Boats and Ice became really, really fun with 1.9. And I'm hoping that this might stick around. Just because it is so much fun to just take these boats out on ice. Uh, so I went ahead and added an ice skating rink actually here at my base. If you actually look out this way, you can actually see Skeleton Horse. And I don't know if it's going to load. Uh, but that's Joe's place over there. Let's go ahead and get my HUD back up. Um, but yeah, it's right here, built into the side of the cliff on the back side. Um... I thought it was a pretty cool location for it, actually, with that window being there. Um, but I didn't actually realize it's actually that low. Like, it's actually probably pretty parallel with this. But I was thinking it was, like, more up in that range from, like, the backside. So, we're actually pretty elevated right here. Um, so, yeah. We gotta do some testing, though. I gotta do, usually don't do testing, but we need to do a little bit of testing, though, with that boat. Because I want to make that area bigger, but if it's not working in the newest pre-release uh, Then I kind of need to go ahead and just kind of keep it where it is Because there's no point on making something bigger if you're only gonna have it Not work with the newest release uh, So let's go ahead and head over to a test world and go ahead and see if the boats are still working in the newest pre-release Alright, so now I have Minecraft booted up in 1.9.1 pre-release 3, because this is the most current that we got. And what I did is I went ahead and made an ice world. So let's go ahead and jump on in here. And let's go ahead and test out the boat, shall we? And, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, we still moving. I wonder, okay, since we're here, let's go ahead and see just how fast we can go. Because the one thing I was wondering is if this is actually going to be kept in the game. This is probably... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at just how fast we can go. That's absolutely amazing. Now, we're constantly turning. We have to keep on correcting ourselves. But, I mean, that's absolutely amazing just how far we're able to go. This is what I'm thinking, okay? Is if this stays... Oh, igloo. Actually, I haven't, I've never actually gone inside one of these. Um, but what I'm thinking is, is if you get enough packed ice, you could have this be a fast way of getting through the nether. Like, this could be the new mode of transportation. That's just going to change everything. It could. I still don't think it's going to stick around... But, at least we can actually go ahead and make uh, that ice skating rink a little bit bigger now. So what do we got? We got clerics, golden apple, yeah, don't mind if I do, coal, and a bunch of random stuff. Oh wait a minute, we're supposed to give the golden apple to this guy, aren't we? There you go, buddy. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even hear the, like, the changing sound, like that fizzle. Oh well. Alright, let's head back over to Boredom's server, and let's go ahead and get over to the ice bike biome. Alright, so we are now at the ice bike biome, and check it out. 4,000, negative 2, well, basically 4,000, negative 3,000, okay? We are a long ways from home, so... Yeah, needs to say we came through nether and We need to make this trip worthwhile. We're gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of our inventory with packed ice But I wanted to take a quick moment while we're doing this I Just gotta love how it's efficiency 4 isn't it? Yeah, it's efficiency 4 Just how it cuts it through. 
just so satisfactory. Um, but to give you a little bit of an update, okay, so last episode, I talked to you about Daniel, uh, how him and Joe were wanting to go off and do their own thing. And um, they have. They did go ahead and go through with it. They started up the server. Um, and that's where they've been. And they seem to be enjoying themselves over there. But Daniel is not done here. He has still logged in on here. Uh, he's not done with boredom server. He's been working on his tower some more. So he is still around. As for Joe, she has not logged on. So still not sure if she's going to be on here still or not. Um, as for Daniel, he is still going to be on here. He's still part of the boredom server. Um, and I'm really glad to see that he is not done. Because he does bring so many good builds to the server. And I really, really do want to see what else he has planned for the season. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you that quick little update really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe out a couple more of these stacks. So that way we can go and get all those filled. And I will be right back. Why walk when you can fly, right? Got seriously between this and the freaking ice boats. I love 1.9. All right, so let's go ahead and do this first. I need to grab my banner off of here. We we'll need to make a copy of it. Let's go and do that. That. Let's go ahead and place it back. Boop, boop, boop. And let's go ahead. I think it's going to work perfect to go right there. You know, I think that's going to be okay. I might move it because it seems like a little bit just right there. But then again, it's nice and centered, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to work on this, okay? Because what we need to do is I need to get my second screen open. Here we go. Alright, because this has to go a pretty specific way in order for it to make sense. So let's go and start off with the enchantment area over here. Where we're going to put a hidden bookshelf right here. So we got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we put the book right there in the middle, and yep, level 30. Alright, so it's actually just that easy. Um, the one thing was, is when I was originally designing this, there was one little issue. Is that you had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I started to panic because I was like, where am I going to put that last book? Uh, the bookshelf. And luckily you can squeeze one right there. And it is literally right there. So it's nice and hidden and tucked away. But it's, it's really close. Really close to not being able to work there. Um, now let's see. Do I have spruce over here? Not a lot, but I think we can work with the slabs because we need to make this flush. I'm gonna have to do that. I think this will be the only spot that we have to do this. Okay, so we need to actually get rid of that. Let's get some dark oak going and we gotta keep with the checkered pattern god dang it stop misplacing there we go so there we go there we go and then we have the same thing going on right here except we have a chest here and a chest here and then Go ahead and get rid of this and this. I think it's just a too wide. Nope. Nope. It's, it's three. Okay. I stand corrected. It's three wide. There we go. So we'll go and put dark. Move that up. And that underneath. And there we go. 
So we got that. Boop -a boop. And get you down here. Wait a minute. There we go. Oh wait a minute. No, we don't need that there. We need that. Alright, there we go. So I need to change one of these. That one or that one? I think this one. No idea why. I just feel like this one needs to go. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and put the ender chest in. So there we go. And I will go ahead, take out a bit, and there we go. So now the community enchantment area is all set. So now we got this. So we're going to have chests like so. And actually, we should. I don't have iron with me. Um, so it's something I'll do later. But what I need to do is I need, because we have so many more people on the server now, um, we need to get some trap chests. So that way we can do uh, stuff like this. Uh, like that. Ooh. Can't do that here, though. Because those two will overlap. Hmm. Oh, okay. How the hell do I do this? Because we could have for these top two chests, I could have signs there and there. These are mailboxes, by the way. I don't think I said that yet. Um, but basically, like, if you want to, like, send somebody something, you can drop it off here, and then the person can come back and be like, Oh, look at this. I needed spruce sapling. Thanks, whoever. Maybe they left a note or something. Um, so we could have that there and there. But what about the bottom two? Um, we could just leave those blank, which I think is probably what we're going to end up doing. Um, so we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think that should be enough for, like, current active players. Um, yeah, so that shouldn't be too bad. And then over here... This is just a bunch of chests. And basically this is what I would call like a Goodwill. Community chests. Let's see, do I have anything that I want to give to the community chest? Not really. Not yet at least. Um, but like say you have like an excess of bone or rotten flesh or something and you're just like oh I'll, I could throw this in lava and care less uh, pretty much you could drop it off here and then whoever comes by is just like snooping around and being like oh well I could use a pair of shears thanks somebody left a pair of shears so uh, a little stuff like that so nothing too major and then this is the last section and it goes a little something like this. Need a little bit more logs. And it goes like that. I think. I will do this. Community message board. And let's go ahead and slap a chest there and not there. I thought I had too many chests, but apparently not. Uh, let's go ahead and drop... Let's drop eight. And there, and eight in here. Now let's go ahead and leave the first post. Post whatever you want here with the anime smiley there we go so yeah if anybody like is oh I don't know 
um, saying, hey, I need a fortune book or something like that, willing to pay such and such. They could post that here, and then people could come over and be like, oh, well, I have a fortune book. I guess I could go make a trade or anything like that uh, if we don't have shops open by then, which, hush, hush, I'm going to be opening shops here pretty soon. Um, so that's going to be in the works here pretty soon. Kind of looking forward to that. But yeah, so let's go ahead, leave a sign here saying mailboxes, community message board is self-explanatory because it signs right there, community chest, and this one's pretty self-explanatory as well. And the only thing I could think that we really still need is just the last little layer of protection. Which is pretty easy to put in. Oh, wait a minute. We need more sticks than that. I think that might be enough. Let's see. Nope. We're still going to need quite a few more. Let's see if this does it. 12? Is that right? Yeah, 12. Okay. Because what we want to do is we want to have these all the way around now the only thing that can actually get in here would be a spider and spiders really aren't that hard to kill I mean they're just hack slash hack slash but the creepers the skeletons the zombies those are the ones that you want to keep out and that's what those are going to do with these so with that I think we got a completed town hall center now this is not Town Hall, this is, this all is Town Hall, technically it's the Town Hall District. Um, but that's just like a main community area, that's all I wanted that to be. So, now that, that is done though, um, I do want to bring up one thing, because you might have been thinking, wait a minute, I thought we were going to be working in the ice skating rink. Uh, we're not going to do that, I will catch you up on that in the next episode. But it's one of those things that's kind of boring, because all I have to do is just mine stone, and it's not that entertaining, really, I don't think. Unless you want to watch me dig stone all day, every day, and then just place down some more of that uh, packed ice. That's about it. So I can show you back in the next episode what I come up with as a final product for that room. But as for actually recording it, it's a little bit boring. So... There's only one last thing, though, that I do want to do in this episode. Oh, and I need to get those, uh... I need to make a note of that, because I'm going to forget about that. Um, is we need to go to one place, okay? And I don't have my flint and steel, so we're going to have to do a cut. But Chris, uh, Speedmaster, he is on the server, and he needs a portal. So we're going to go pay his little base a visit. Alright, well, I would say that the coordinates that Chris gave me were accurate. Because we dug straight up from where the portal put us down there in a the cave. And we're right at his house. One block over and we would have been in his house. Uh, so let me go ahead and replace this dirt. And I'm guessing this is where he wants the portal. Because he said he had a spot picked out and I would say that's probably where he wants it um, okay so he doesn't have too much going on here but there's that Chris you can enjoy that oh he's already found a dungeon nice um, at least I would say that's probably a dungeon but this is kind of interesting because we got regular oak and birch over there so just a regular forest we got spruce we got jungle and we got planes that he's in. That's kind of interesting that he's got this much around him. So I think it's definitely an interesting choice for a location. I'm not I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking the choice here, Chris. So let's go ahead and set him up with a portal and make sure that it works. Cause it should. Emphasis on should. Some things in Minecraft just don't go as planned as we know. 
So let's go ahead and take a look. And this should take us to a portal with a pretty good sized room around it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and go back on through. And... With that, I think it's time to end the episode. Because that's actually about it. So this is actually a pretty productive episode. Uh, we actually got Chris hooked up. We went ahead and finished the town hall. Uh, did a little bit of ice skating and got some more ice from the ice bikes biome. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you're liking the new style. I kind of like it. I think it's a little bit more productive how I'm doing it this way uh, instead of the old way. So let me know what you think. Um, still open to suggestions and everything like that. But that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys back here next episode. See you later.